I doing mean, stretches is extremely yeah. important for anyone who's picking up melee. Do stretches. Stretch your Please. hands, dip them in hot water, do some stuff. Mm -hmm. It's a thing. There's actually this really cool, like, almost waffle iron looking hand massager. No, oh, I think I've seen those actually. That specifically yeah. comes for that reason, just to, like, massage your hands. So that's really, really cool. Sleepy K actually got one and told me how it worked. And it's pretty recommended. It's pretty dope. Yeah, I know Axe actually likes to bring the, um, the little, like, uh, Warmth packets to, yep, <laughs> to yep. tournaments. Hot I don't know Hot hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then just like get them going, and then just like put them on his hands in between. Yeah. Do you want to hear an place. embarrassing story real quick? Uh, yeah. We'll do it after. Sure. After yeah. Whatever. It's about uh, hot hands. It's relevant. <laughs> oh, we are actually going and to get acts. a Roy Ditto. How do you feel about this, Mr. Cephalon? So um, I may have seen a couple of Roy Dittos in my day. <laughs> maybe yeah, right. maybe once or twice, just here and there. Me and Lonsible have only played approximately half a million of them in Project M. Um, in this game, it's it may, honestly it's it's roughly the same. A lot of the the game is going to be revolved around the crouch cancel at low percents because Roy actually is not very good at dealing with opponents crouch canceling him. Um, even if your opponent's in true crouch, Roy has no moves that will break him out of it until like 30, 40 ish percent. So he's going to be relying on grab a lot in neutral, or going to be relying a lot on trying to make his opponent make the first move. If you actually just run up and stand in crouch, there's only one button your opponent can press. So if they get antsy and like, oh, I'm going to down tilt him and hit him out of his down tilt startup, I'm like, I've smashed through something, you can just catch in a down tilt yourself. And Roy's actually a very good weight for Roy combos. Okay, I did not know his down smash at that particular point of his blade did that. Yeah, his down smash is actually not a bad move. It's got a, a ton of commitment. But it's similar to Mars, it comes out fast. The middle of the blade hits pretty strong upwards. The tip yeah, actually hits pretty strong as well outwards. So there's some tricky stuff you can do with that where like where you intentionally tip someone whether when, when they're like they're recovering or just at the ledge in general and if they get caught off guard don't DI correctly. Yeah. I'm not gonna say I'm clueless in this matchup, just for the fact that I've I've played Roy, you know, I can yeah. do I can do Roy stuff against fast fallers and, and Roy Dittos. Mm -hmm. I feel like we've all played them. Because Roy is the is the mark we all wanted. Roy. And he has fire. Yeah, he's, he's fire so cool. mark. Like he's dude, fire come on. How could you not like that? Yo, you wanna be cool on that get up attack? Counter out of shield. <laughs> <laughs> I would have done it. <laughs> <laughs> um, at low percents, it might actually have low enough knockback to get punished on a hit. <laughs> so, since it well, is, he was out towards the edge. I feel okay, like it, 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 he was on a get-up attack, so I feel like he definitely would have put him off stage. That's the only oh, reason. Yeah. Oh, I like the wave that. What's no? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh no! I was gonna question it, like, what's gonna happen? <laughs> is like, the stage gonna collapse into itself for a second? <laughs> 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 but he let it go way too early. He just he was like, nah, dude, I don't want to get hit with that. Yeah. And he just put his wrist out there long oh, enough to get hit with it. Actually did counter there on the ledge hop, but Roy's counter does come out a little bit slower than Marth. There are lots of times where you can see the animation starting up, and it's just, it's still not activating. So. I feel like he's just feeling that move now. He's just like, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> <neutral> <laughs> be I hit this move with you twice in a row. So. There's another one, yeah, and he gets forward smash for him. He will stop. Yep, he, <laughs> BTS has had enough of that. Yeah, he's like, yeah, so that's not going to be a thing. So this water versus Phoenix, is that what this is? PHX, oh, yeah, I guess so. H2O, I don't know. I mean, technically, that's a bad matchup for Phoenix, right? Like, I think so, yeah. <laughs> like Water's got to be super effective. Yeah, very true. Oh, yep, we see the Crouch Castle coming into play, but not actually punishing the Crouch Castle. Oh, okay, that was good. Oh, that that's that is one thing. the choice. Yeah, yeah. If, if, uh, if you do get the percents where F Smash pushes you far enough away at and you tried to crouch cancel something, terrible, terrible things can happen just like right there. Holding down, you get sent at a really, really bad angle. That was okay. good. No, exactly. like, I'm not going to roll. I just snatch up that cape real quick. Uh -huh. yep, that is one thing that Roy has. is He's got the Marth esque grab range. He's got like, the, the, the force. Oh, oh, the oh. fire but Really good DI coming out. Gonna survive that F-Mash. Flare Blade is actually not good at edge guarding in Roy Dittles because Roy's up B hits so far up and in front of him. Yeah, I was going to say, I feel like it would hit his legs before yeah. you could actually get anything out of it. Yeah, you can space far enough back that uh, that he can't hit your legs, but then if you just sweet spot, then the Roy with the Flare Blade will miss. Oh, well, he didn't do his signature move. He could have waved that shadow shield and then uh, down smash. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. It's the weak hit. That's like my favorite forward B hit ever. It's that or the downward strike with Marth. With like, uh, yeah, the spike. Yeah. Really smart. He was waiting. He was like, I'm just going to wait for your uh, your invincibility to go away. And okay. Nice. That was actually really good. New spilling early and uh, releasing. Oh, wow. It's so close. Nice spacing on the F smash, cutting through the double F dance. Now, I believe this gentleman, I uh, forgot his tag, unfortunately. I'm sorry. The gentleman, the uh, gray switcher with the red and the shirt, is actually a Roy main. Like, he, he doesn't okay. like to play Roy. Ready? He's gonna go to Yoshi's story. Also a very good Roy stage. So he's got a lot of KO potential with his F smash, so he can be getting kills at pretty low percent, especially with the angle of the edge of the stage. Um, 
going to be able to Zoomer that, that way. But nice movement there, coming in with a tricky F smash. Oh! oh he got the oh. hitbox! Yes! They high-fived! They high-fived. <laughs> this, this is the best. <laughs> Just like, yeah, that was tight. <laughs> I agree. I agree. <laughs> well, that is not something you see every day. Quite enough, but as long as he grabs the ledge. Okay, uh, okay yeah. Yep. I was gonna really say because of the the tilt in the stage too. Mm -hmm. Down tilt's prevalent, and you can do a lot of other things into it too. Yeah, and got tip down tilt there, which does have lower knockback growth, so we'll be able to combo it out of it, even at that high percent. Ooh, down tilt regrab, I like. You know, I actually think Nair is really, really good. I don't see them using it a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, it's it's about as good as Marth, but it's got more landing like, so you have to be a little bit more careful when you actually uh, apply it. It's yeah. not quite as safe to uh, throw out. Okay, he actually tried to dash in shield there so that he could get the shield grab out from the down throw, but pushed a little bit too far. Gonna be able to get the down throw. Oh, down throw, okay. But the eyes up high onto the platform. Nice forward air down throw. Strings coming out. So, so where does up air need to hit to lift? Because I feel yeah, like it's always just so it's so mud. It, well, it, it needs to hit to... with the sweet spot, but the problem is is that the tip actually takes priority over the sweet spot. Okay. So you need to be hitting like either super deep or at such an angle so that only the middle of the blade is connecting and not the tip of the blade itself. Okay, so if they both hit, it's going to automatically go towards like the weak tip. Okay, yeah, and then they, then they go nowhere. Oh, yep, that upward swing on double edge dance will definitely chop through shields if you hold them. Oh. It's, uh, I was going to say, it's Yoshi's, who knows? Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice movement. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I was going to say it. So I was actually going to mention the down to, uh, down or out of shield. Oh. Yeah, it is one of the things where it has... Oh, uh, okay. okay. Responsive air dodge. Right, Roy's out of shield options are relatively slow. Uh, most of his aerials doing, you know, like, on the way up aren't particularly good. Down air is one that will set up for some things. Uh, but, you know, if you whiff it... You can die. Yeah, it's just a dead forward smash. Yeah, see, that's the point you were making earlier. Maybe if he would have waited a little bit further back. If he did up be pretty early, he probably would have been over the, the stage. He could have gotten him with Flare Blade later. I was going to say, last one's coming. Yeah, going to be trying for the low shield stabs. That's an interesting thing Ray can do, whether or not he's going to try to stab for the low, low hits or shield stab with the upward swing, which hits uh, up on an opponent's head. Oh, yep, that's uh, not not no. something you can do, is right. <laughs> is He falls like a rock, and his recovery does not go particularly far, so... Like I said, right there, like uh, in that that uh, position that he was, he definitely could have used Nair to kill. I feel like it's his only like move that can potentially be like an aerial wise. That could be a kill move other than back air. Middle of the lane and back air hits pretty far out, right? Um, decently. None of his aerials are really gonna kill. There are sometimes where like you hit people that are recovering, where if like they don't have their oh, double no. jump, then you can finish them off. But in general, you're not gonna be killing. There it is. There it is. That's the oh, one. Yeah, Backside of the down smash. Broke his legs. Yeah, chopped him up good. The noises that like his sword makes to me, it just sounds like I feel like it's not even sharp. I feel like he's just <laughs> whacking people. Oh, that's it. That evened it up, huh? Yeah. All right, game three. Roy Dittos. <laughs> Welcome to Texas, everyone. <laughs> this doesn't happen a lot. I, I, it doesn't I, happen. I'm just kidding. Whoever is watching who isn't familiar already, who right. That's cool. It's fun. I actually like it. Like watching these. Yeah, it's it's nice seeing you know a little bit of a character diversity sometimes. Oh, 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 oh what, what, what a dirty, dirty counter pick. So this matchup is awful for Roy. Like some Roy's think this is actually like 90-10. Like Roy God. just cannot beat a properly playing guy timers, and that's because but, like. So down tilt separation. How do so you good. down tilt ice? It's so good. How do you tell me how you down tilt ice climbers <laughs> now? I'll agree because the thing that to know is that ice climbers down smash. If you down tilt at the same time as they, as they down smash, down smash wins. And so you can't really be using that as a poke because if you ever do whiff, they can also just wave dash and down smash. I, mean, I, tr I truly just I, everything you said to me was just another language. You just don't know, <laughs> you don't know this matchup at all. Oh, like, of course not. Obviously. I've never played this matchup. Yeah, ever. dude. Like, why don't you just know that Roy is so much better than Ice Climbers? <laughs> I don't understand. It. What's like, he, he's got a cape, he's got a oh, sword, he's got a sword and the fire, and he wins with hammers. So, like, yeah. I don't understand. It's like 90-10 in Roy's favor, right? I mean, <laughs> Clearly. Is, yeah. Look. Look at this. Watch. Nana didn't stuff, even move. She just sat stuff there and took it. happened. Easy. Easy victory. Put the controller down. <laughs> it's done. You gotta uh, fight a Roy, just quit. It's done, man. So, fun fact is that even Sopo can turn grab Roy. He's the, the right uh, oh. the right weight, so that like, from like, I think it's like a 0 to 50. Um, you can DI out, but then you get down smashed at the ledge. Oh. 
Oh, gonna be doing some down throw regrabs. Oh, trying to do some fancy stuff, but not, not really cooperating. Back throw. No. Oh, Whoa, okay. that was pretty cool. Yeah, it didn't like have it. time to I actually like set up the smash from Nana, so instead it's setting up the D6 forward. Uh, so I liked it. Oh, Nana, they're setting up for the forward air with a little after the row. She's like, remember last stock? <laughs> okay, interesting. Down early. smash. Oh, okay. Side B will do a good job of flipping ice climbers out of stuff, assuming that they ever get off the ground, because one of the weaknesses of Roy's side B is that crouch canceling and demolishes it, because it has almost no knockback growth naturally, so that it can combo into the extra hits. Oh no, he's getting scared. Mm. A bit of a Not too big though. Does manage to get back to center stage with a nice wave dash F tilt. Yeah, see, he keeps getting crouch canceled and not adapting. Yeah, it doesn't even, like, even if you're at super high percent, because it does not knockback growth, you're still going to be able to crouch cancel those hits. Actually, I think that might have hit if it wasn't for, like, the slight dip in the, the stage. Maybe. That last yeah. hit of uh, forward B. Mm -hmm. oh. Or dancing, man, I believe it. Oh, oh he does try to, to do the Marth Killer. Marth Killer does not work against Roy naturally because his multi -hit. B has multi hits. Yeah, yeah. So it, the first hit will pull you off the stage, and then Roy will just post him. Like, just, uh, good wave dash chase, though, getting that down smash in. Pretty comfortable lead here now. Yes, but the side B will mop it up. Oh, and the no. taunt! The taunt. See, look, he knows this matchup is good. He's just like, dude, I'm gonna win. Check it out. This is it for you, climbers. Interesting. Found the starter. Oh, oh. Probably okay. not intentional of me, but does actually I mean, it got him out of there. Got away with it. Everything is good once. Sometimes twice if you fool them again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're feeling uh, extra brave. It's basically on the side sheet, making a safe on shield. Oh no! Things. Yep, gets the jab, grab pressure. Gonna go into some He's down air re grabs. Yeah. Oh wow, not of there. <laughs> going going kind of ham on her own. Sometimes the climber stuff just looks like they're pummeling, but there's just so much more going on. Aww. Uh, yeah, but that is the scary thing. I mean, we've seen that back in the olden days with the, the old Marth players too. Crouch castle something at the ledge, you get pushed just far enough off stage they can't down tilt. And, you know, you're already pressing the button to do it. And then you see that down here. Yeah. Rai right, right will definitely not make that back. That not not even close. Like 